everyone good afternoon today is monday and here we are with day two of the program that i released today which is going to be a three-day session to talk about how to stop dieting and free yourself from food and enjoy it start understanding whatever it is that makes your health better thank you Tere for being here and we're going to talk about today how do you engage in changing your eating habits are you thinking in how you want to see your body how you want to nurture your body with everything that you are consuming all of those things that you are feeding yourself are going to create disease depending on your focus, depending on your options, depending on your choices. So it is not just about consuming food to fill the void. It is more to create a temple, to create a ritual, as we spoke yesterday. It is more about visualizing what we want. And in order to visualize and to change the concept of nutrition, that now it encompasses more your emotions, your visualization process, your spiritual peace, and everything that you are doing in your mind while you eat, well, now it's time to understand the three macronutrients of your body and how do they work. So I'm going to go deep, fast, but I will give you the best keys so that you can understand what is happening with each one of them. So let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are very, very important in order to support many of the functions, in energetic functions in your metabolism. That doesn't mean that you need too much quantity of simple sugars or simple carbohydrates. That is the first subcategory that we have inside of the carbohydrates. So one is, this, one is the simple carbohydrates, which is just simple sugars that you can find in processed food, in any kind of um, sweet breads or candies or chocolate or any of those products. Those are in high amount uh, containing those products. Also in beverages that are very sugary, such as sodas, such as sometimes many of these milks that they uh, sell with flavor and many of the juices or all of the juices that they sell in boxes they also have a lot of sugars even the yogurts that you can find in the in the market or in the groceries so what you have to do is just turn around the label and see how mo how much grams of sugar they have but many of those products have between 25 to 35 or even 40 grams of sugars. That is almost the amount that an adult has to consume in one day. The adults need to consume 50 grams of sugar, not more, not less, 50 grams of sugar. That is more or less sort of um, 12 spoons, teaspoons of sugar. 12 to teaspoons of sugar. So that's the idea of the simple sugars. Carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, they are going to be processed in longer periods of time. So they sustain a longer amount of energy. They are needed also to support energetic functions and to support many of the uh, backbone of your cells, the organelles, the supporting system, it is like the foundation of, let's picture a house. You need to have the foundation of the house and all of the skeleton of the house so that you can construct and then do the walls and everything. Well, your body needs that, your cells need that. And it is made of complex carbohydrates. And many of these complex carbohydrates, they merge with proteins and they assemble receptors in your cell. What are these receptors for? They are antennas. They are like small uh, Wi-Fi networks that they are going to detect the nutrients that you need, the, the nutrients that you are going to uh, signal inside of your body, open channels so that you can start processing all of these nutrients. So the idea is to have also um, 
a good amount of this complex carbohydrate for also not over reacting or over exaggerating how much more or less is a good percentage more or less between 30 to 40 percent it's enough not more than 40 many many nutrition in the back in the old ages recommended 50 55 60 percent of carbohydrates which is not possible for your body you can consume them but many of those are in excess and those all of those are going to be uh, turned around or uh, deviated to make fat so the idea is that you start doing what you need you start consuming what you need not more than that and without anxiety and without toxic thoughts just be conscious of the choices that you have in terms of the fats let's go to the fats Fats can be divided into polyunsaturated fats and saturated fats, or mono, monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and saturated fats. So three, these three types of fats are the ones that mainly are divided. So the first two, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, are the best ones that you have to consume. And they are found in many of the seeds, in many of the cereals, in many of the and vegetables and of course in many of the animal products they are found mainly in fish products so those are the ones that you have to balance more the pro the saturated fats that are found in uh, red meats and sometimes also in chicken and in processed food those are the ones that you have to lower more the percentage and again, the labels have the information. Just turn the label and you will see the amount of grams of saturated fats that they have. In the beginning, it might be a little tiring, the process of turning around and reading the label. But think about your body. Think about that. If you are going to pay something, to, to buy something, not, you need to know all the specifications and you read and you search and you look for the best price to buy something. Why you don't do it with your diet? Why you don't do it with the things that you are going to consume and get inside your body? So start thinking like that because your body is not just uh, something that has to be filled. It's something that is your temple and it's going to give you more energy, awareness and cognition if you treat it well. So we are a complement of body, mind, spirit. So if you are not doing the things in the proper order, probably that's the reason you're losing weight and it is not too much about what you consume. It is mainly also the emotional and the spiritual side that is that has to be also attached to the eating process so the fat saturated fats are the worst because they stick to the walls of your arteries and veins and they clog them so what do they do they force the heart to pump more uh, blood and it takes more energy for your body to support that besides they start making layers around the organs and those organs cannot function properly so many of your organs that that is the visceral fat that is around the it's going to clog your system it's going to make traffic and many of the substances molecules minerals and chemical substances won't have the same pathways or won't have the same fluidity to arrive to their places that's why you need to lower those kind of fats. The idea is to be conscious on that. And the polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats are going to help you to also clean those saturated fats that you have in excess. So the more you eat polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, the easier your system will clean up itself. That's the idea, to understand those balances. Now, let's go for the proteins. This is the main block of your cells. 
we need proteins to construct the DNA, which is our hard drive. The, all of the instructions for our proteins need to be assembled with that. Many of the receptors, a lot of the immune system cells and messengers need proteins. Your neurotransmitters need proteins. All of your connections and, and synapses and pathways in your brain need proteins. So all of your hormones are made of uh, certain parts of the proteins or amino acids. The proteins are formed by very small pieces or like very, very small uh, counts of amino acids. Each protein is made up, I don't know, probably a thousand amino acids or 500 amino acids or smaller ones like 200 or 100 amino acids depends on the length of the protein, depends on the function of the protein, depends on the complexity of the protein, but we need a lot of amino acids for that. And they also form complex between fats and carbohydrates. We have lip lipoproteins and we have carbo or uh, glucoproteins, glycoproteins. So that's the idea, to start making a team. They work in a team. So all of these proteins and amino acids are going to support those systems. The hormones, neurotransmitters, all of the backbones too are made with certain kind of proteins, many of the antennas, the receptors. So in order to assemble all of that realm in your cell, it is just like a city constructing a city inside of you. They need to be in balance. The percentage of proteins that you need to consume is around 20 to 25, probably 30. That depends on each case and it's individually calculated. But you need to also consume proteins that are high quality proteins, not the pro proteins that come just from animal origin. You also need vegetable proteins. You also need that support because many of these vegetables Mainly the green ones have a lot of minerals, have a, have a lot of vitamins from the complex B, which we I'm going to talk about tomorrow. And those are going to support all of those systems. So we now have the three main blocks. Now we have the, the main substances that we need in order to perform our functions. So the idea is now to visualize what do we want to do with that kind of food. That's why when you are always choosing what you are going to eat, think in your body. Think in the body that you want. Think that you are going to be able to uh, burn the fat that you have in excess. Think that you are going to construct the receptors and the proteins that you need in order to support your immune system. Concentrate in that. Make a small effort like three or five minutes, concentrate and visualize your body and be grateful with the food that you are going to consume because that is going to help you. If you eat on the go or if you are in a rush just consuming food, that's not good for you. It is really not good. It's very toxic. Also, it is toxic to consume your food in front of someone that is just complaining and giving you toxic energies to you showing you because energies we have a field of energy we are made of energy the food is made of energy so we are polluting our food by consuming it in front of things that are creating toxicity in us so be conscious of that no tv much less news not, not even by mistake watch news while you are eating and try not to eat with toxic people or if they are just complaining or just saying things that are not helpful for you, change the subject to something that is more pleasant while you are eating. And that's it. And space your meals. I'm going to talk about tomorrow about this, spacing the meals and start doing this kind of intermittent fasting. And I'm going to talk about also about the micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. What are the main functions of these two 
uh, smaller blocks sort of saying but they are very very important to support also your metabolic health so thank you very much for your attention this is in support of many people that we are coming very close to the Christmas season and I know that this has been a tough year for many many of us so those emotions can drive you to consume food that is not good for you so let's be conscious in this season that we are going to consume more food about this process and understand the science behind it thank you very much for your attention thank you very much for connecting Tere, Roberto uh, La Morla, hi, it's nice to see you here again also. Thank you very much. If you like this video, if you think it has a good content for many of the people that you know, please give me a like, give me a comment, share it, and thank you very much for your support. Have a wonderful Monday and beginning of the week. Bye.